Coming up on Voda News. The communication revolution. Making that first call on a cellular phone. What to do with your Voda card. How to set up your own voicemail box. And lots more up-to-date cell phone information coming your way in just a minute. You're with Voter News. Welcome back. In the 80s, it was the information revolution. In the 90s, everything changed. Right now on Voter News, we bring you the next revolution, GSM Cellular Communication. We've all seen them. Some of us have been lucky enough to use one. But has it really taken over? Are people losing their hunger for information? Well, in a moment, we're going to be taking you through all the steps leading to the moment you do just that. Make your first call. I'm Glenn Hicks for Voda News. We'll be back. Don't go away. Welcome back to Voda News. I'm Jane Hicks. Stay with us for more information on how to get the most out of your cell phone. And now let's find out more about the connector pack. The video you're watching came out of one of these. Inside is everything you need to get connected to the Vodacom network, except your actual handset, that is. Your connector pack also contains brochures like these, covering in more detail what we're going to be showing you during this bulletin. Keep them handy, because from time to time we're going to refer to them. For more insight, we asked Vodacom exactly how it's done. By buying the connector pack, or if you're lucky enough to be given one, you now qualify to be connected to the leading cellular network in South Africa. By completing this card and faxing or mailing it, you also gain the automatic right to belong to Voda Club, and when you do that, an automatic subscription to Voda World magazine, free of charge. As to your actual phone, your service provider can advise you on the right one to choose for your specific needs. Before you use your phone, the single most important thing to check is whether you've loaded your voter card into your phone correctly. Your voter card is this thing, which looks like an ordinary credit card, except it carries an onboard microprocessor. Without a voter card, your phone won't work. The card is what connects you, not the phone. Tell us more, here's our technical expert from Vodacom. If your phone is designed to use a full-size Vodacard, this is the one to use. If the card is perforated like this one is, you've got the wrong card and you should take it back to the dealer and exchange it. As you can see, this card is designed to be punched out like this and slotted into the phone designed to take the mini card like this. You see, the trouble is that the mini Vodacard in its holder will still fit a phone designed to take the full-size card. But what happens if the connection isn't that good and you'll continually lose contact with the network? When you come back after the break, you'll be ready for the next stage, your PIN and PUC numbers. Yebo, go, go. One hundred. <laughs> what, a hundred bucks? No, man, you're ripping me off. No ways, I can get these anywhere. Forget it. Hey, go. Let's hit the road, man. Yeah, for a little while, wind pump. Mm. Even in an emergency. <laughs> Hello. 
Vodacom. Isn't it nice to know that Vodacom has expanded its cellular network to cover major national roads? Wow! I feel good. I knew that I would. Welcome back to a security idea used by banks all over the world. The personal identity number, or PIN, designed to protect you against unauthorized use of your phone. If you haven't already done so, take your card out of its holder like this. Then tear off the two perforated sides of the holder. This gives access to your PIN number printed underneath. Keep that number handy because in a moment we're going to show you how to key it in on your phone. Also, just like this machine here, you get only three goes at entering your PIN number before the network security procedures kick in and deny you access. If your PIN becomes blocked, usually as a result of you or someone else meddling with your phone, you're going to need to key in your PUC number, which stands for PIN Unblocking Key, allowing you to recover from an unauthorized attempt to enter your PIN number. Your PUC number is under here, on the other side of the Vodacard mailer. Keep a record of it in a safe place. You get 10 goes at entering your PUC number, at which point, for your protection, the card becomes invalid and has to be replaced. Before you use a hand portable phone, you'll probably need to charge the battery. Your handset manual will tell you all you need to know. Having inserted your SIM card and switched on your phone, you're ready to make your first call. On the display screen will appear, please enter your PIN number. When you've entered your PIN number, press hash. Wait for the network connection. Now you can dial. Oh, by the way, you won't hear any dialing tone. If you're phoning a telecom number, you must dial that area code, even if you're in the area already. But if you're phoning another Vodacom network user, you just key in 082, then the number, then the key with the green phone. There are lots of variations depending on the handset you're using. To answer, Press the same button you use after you've dialed. When you want to hang up, you press the button with the red phone or with a graphic that looks like this or this. And now let's see how Vodamail takes the concept of the answering machine into the 21st century. Vodamail starts to take the cell phone way beyond anything conventional phones are capable of. It's more or less like having a built-in answering machine on every single phone. But that's where the similarity ends, because Vodamail is far more versatile than any answering machine. Broadly, it allows callers to leave messages for you if your phone is off, engaged, or not reachable. The service is provided by Vodacom free of charge. All you pay is a reduced rate when you retrieve your messages. Personalizing your Vodamail box is easy. Just dial 121 and follow the voice prompts. When the voice asks you to key in your temporary password, key in 1111. Further instructions will then follow. Whenever you receive new messages, the Vodamail system will notify you by means of text or voice. To retrieve your messages, just dial 121. For more information, consult this brochure. You'll find one in your connector pack. If you need further help, there's a troubleshooting section at the end. Or you can phone our customer care center free of charge on 111 from a cellular phone or 0800 234 from a telecom phone, day or night. One more word on Vodamail. You might have seen how a friend's phone delivers a short message on screen, like this, and then wondered, well, why doesn't my phone do that? The answer's simple. Not all phones have the facility known as SMS, which stands for Short Message Service. It all depends on what cell phone you buy. If your phone does support SMS, the word message or an envelope will appear. If your phone doesn't support SMS, Vodamail will call you, like this. You have three new messages. To retrieve your messages, dial 121. Let's take a look at the people you're going to be dealing with. Why do we need dealers, service providers, and networks? Why not have all three in one? Broadly, Vodacom designs and builds the cellular network then provides wholesale airtime to the service providers. The service providers, in turn, retail the airtime to the network users, usually via dealers, giving users convenient access to the network. The following diagram illustrates the relationship between dealers, service providers, and the network, and how each one helps you, the user. The dealer is the outlet where you buy your phone and where you arrange your airtime contract. 
the service provider, the SP, does exactly that. He connects you to the network and provides you with the ongoing service. Logically enough, that's who you contact when you need service, like help in setting up your voter mail. Because your service provider is the one who sends out your account each month, this is who you contact if you have any sort of account inquiry. Vodacom's job is to build the network, and they're doing it fast. For the latest coverage information, it's over to our geographic monitor. This map illustrates just how comprehensive the Vodacom coverage area already is. Changes and improvements are going on all the time. In these blue areas, you might need an 8-watt cell phone to give the best quality of service. But a 2-watt is usually fine. In the green areas, both 2-watt and 8-watt units will work equally well. Handheld phones like this are usually rated at 2 watts and will work in 8 watt areas, although coverage may not always be perfect. It's important to understand that when two cell phone users want to talk to each other, both must be in a coverage area. Of course, if one is on a telecom line, that area doesn't have to fall inside any cell or coverage area. But providing coverage is one thing, understanding the limitations of the system is another. Just as with two-way radios, the environment you're in when you use your cell phone has a lot to do with the quality of the connection. Up here in this building, the reception's fine. Possibly something to do with the amount of window area. In others, it might not be so good. So if you're in a building or in a car that isn't fitted with an outside aerial, you're not going to get as good a connection as you would from outside. Most times, however, it's perfect, but the system does have limitations. Even though we already have excellent coverage in South Africa, we're building another two to three base stations every single day. We're spending three billion rand to make absolutely sure that you just have the very best service possible. In addition to being in touch 24 hours a day, Vodacom subscribers can take advantage of a multitude of special services. There are the 1023 or 110 numbers which put you through to the Vodacom operators who will answer your directory inquiries. Then there's the 111 helpline for inquiries on Vodacom services or coverage. To access this service from a telecom phone, dial 082111. <laughs> In this room, we process literally thousands of phone calls every day. And most of the inquiries are from people just getting started. You see, although it's not quite as simple as dialing from the ordinary phone you've been used to, it really isn't that complicated, provided you're prepared to read the literature and follow the instructions step by step. Once you pass the startup, the rest is easy. In the event of an emergency, dial Vodacom's own emergency number, 112, and your call will be routed to the appropriate emergency service police, ambulance or fire department. Dialing 147, conveniently located along the left-hand side of your keypad, puts you in touch with emergency reaction services. Dynamic emergency assistance is what you can expect 24 hours a day. Through its link with an organization called International SOS, immediate assistance is available to Vodacom subscribers all over the GSM world. The most fun to be had with your phone is when you go roaming, preferably in style. So why not join us in London, Hong Kong, Sydney, or anywhere in the big, big GSM world, Vodacom's world. But before you leave, make sure you contact your service provider or Vodacom customer care to check out on overseas coverage and tariffs. And most importantly, to make sure your service provider has unbarred international roaming and calls on your Vodacard. After that, happy landings. And remember...